Actually, our taxonomy consists of two words. Texia plus nomos. Texia means to arrange. And nomos means nom naming or nomenclature. At first, what we do? At first, we identify an organism. The first process in uh, classification or in taxonomy is identification. And after identification, naming. And then categorization or classification. Final process is classification. Uh, therefore, at first, identification. What is identification? As I mentioned I yesterday, as I asked yesterday, okay, how you people will recognize me on the basis of on the basis of certain external features. Yeah. On the basis of certain external features, you will recognize or you will identify an organism. So that is identification. For identification, there are certain um, key characteristics. All of us are mammals, isn't it? All of us are, at first, if we go to kingdom level, we are from Animalia kingdom. And phylum is data. Subphylum is vertebrata. Class is superclass is tetrapoda. Class is mammalia. Order is primates. And the genus is homo. A species is sapiens. Subspecies is sapiens. So this is classification. On what basis? We were kept in Animalia in the basis of I described yesterday what is the difference between plant and animals. We are mobile. We can go anywhere. So we are animals. Then computer. Presence of protocol. Protocol is, is present in us. It is present. During developmental stage, it is present, and later on, it is differentiated into vertebrate. Therefore, we are vertebrate. Because there are some animals in phylum Chordata in which chordate, uh, notochord is intact, it is not differentiated into vertebral column. You might have heard uh, Sulpa, Doliolum, uh, Ampioxus in these chordates or in these animals there is chordate, there is notochord but notochord is not differentiated into but there are three main features of chordates what are those features? presence of notochord presence of nerve cord, dorsal tubular, nerve cord and pharyngeal gill slits. Have you heard? Pharyngeal gill slits. If you see fishes, there are gill slits. There are many gill slits. But in our cases, in embryology, in embryological stage, there are certain gill slits <coughs> like a structure in the neck region. That's true. There are some folds in the neck. During development, it disappears, but it is present. Is it? So that is, uh, these are characteristic features. On that basis, we separate coordinates from other group that is called non coordinates. You, you know cockroach. Presence of notochord. Presence of dorsal tubular nerve cord and presence of pharyngeal gill slits. 
there will be more character that is post NL tail. After ANS, there is tail, but in human there is no tail. Therefore, people do not consider it as universal. But coccyx is present. You know coccyx? What is coccyx? End of vertical column. Yeah, in our case, there is no tail. The tail vertebrae is in the coccyxial form. Yeah. It is uh, in reduced form, or you can say it is in vestigial form, yeah. coccyx. So on that basis, uh, we put animals in a particular file. Like that. When we say vertebrata, so vertebrata means notochord is converted, differentiated into vertebrata. Okay. So on that basis, we ask question. Then, hominidity. Yeah. When you, call, you come to the order, then there is family hominidity. We belong to family hominidity. But before hominidity, after the order, there is sub order. You might have heard catirani and platirani. You know? Flat nose and protruded nose. Our nose is protruded. It is catirani. And the uh, nose of monkeys are flat, that is platinum. So on that basis also, on the basis of nose shape, it is catirani or platinum. Primate, order primates, you might have seen cows, beach, horse, all these are mammals, but they have different orders. Carnivora, Cetacea, Cetacea, where, where is from uh, Cetacea, elephant from Procedia, uh, then rabbit from Lagomorpha, rats from Rodentia. So these are different orders. So human is primates. When we say mammals, it means presence of mammary gland, either male or female. In male it is reduced, but in female it is developed. Why primate order became different? On the basis of position of memory gland. In, you might have seen uh, in cows, memory gland is present towards the hind limb, in which is present on the whole ventral surface. It is present on the whole um, ventral surface of the abdo abdomen. But in the case of human, it is present on present in the thoracic region. Therefore, actually, how I understood about it, when I knew its uh, Hindi meaning, then I understood how it is different. Um, the primates are called in Hindi, Uch Astani. It means mammal, memory gland is present in the uppermost part of the body. Therefore, we are primates, order primates. So, on that basis, Excellent. You might have heard uh, about Carlos Linnaeus. Have you heard Carlos Linnaeus? Who was he? Carlos Linnaeus? He gave binomial nomenclature. In which book it was published? System of Nature. He wrote two books System of Nature and Gender Plantarum. And it was published in uh, uh, System of Nature in 1758. Now yeah, this here is also important. This question is also asked. System of Nature. And uh, in that System of Nature, he described about binomial nomenclature. What is binomial nomenclature? <coughs> Do you know what was his name? The full name was? Carl von Linn. His name was trinomial. There were three parts. He gave binomial. At first, he changed his own name from Carl von Linn to Carolus Linnaeus. There are only two parts now, isn't it? And then he gave binomial nomenclature. And he told that the first name is genus name, and second name is. A species name. You might have seen in books, it is in an italic star. And the genus name starts from capital. 
and the species name starts from a small. Why so? All of my things to it. Then we write Homo, suppose uh, we write Menzifera indica. Mango. 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 Yeah, what is known? Genus is known and a species is adjective. And as you know, wherever noun is, it starts from capital. That's why first genus name is genus name starts from Manzifera, means mango. Indica, the mango which is found in India. Actually at first it was um, recognized or identified in India, therefore, they mentioned. Initially, I think of Homo sapiens. He said there were two names only, later on it became Tinomia than Homo sapiens. Sapiens. Homo means? Homo means? Man. A sapiens means? Wise, wise man. Yeah. The man is noun and wise is adjective. That's why always generic name starts with capital and the species name starts with a small. Understand? So, so, binomial nomenclature in binomial nomenclature, uh, which also is followed in Western naming. Because Carlos, his name also is now two names. Yeah, two, two name. in, the, in those two names, which one he calls first name and last name? Carlos is his first name. Carlos is first name. Uh, Linus is. Linus is second. second. So, but it is not, he changed his name. There is no noun or adjective. <laughs> Actually, his name was in three parts. That's why he gave the binomial nomenclature. At first, he changed his own name. But there is no that scientific, it is not scientific name. Only that. Yeah. Part. That, the other thing is Mangifera indica. Uh, what is the actual reason behind uh, uh, capital, putting capital M as capital M and uh, I as small? Hmm. Uh, there can be a psychological reason to that also. Right. See, it is um, you are giving respect whenever you are giving in a say, English sentence. Why do you suddenly put ma? capital letter of the first word to get attention okay basically the reason is get attention suddenly so the reason behind the even mangifera indica also the indica is representing mangifera which can be many types that means it can be consisted considered as an ancestor so with respect we call we want to express that respect which is mangifera and it's it's its lineage, one of the lineage can be called as Indica, which is the original parenthood is Mangifera. Yeah, of course. So, parent, when it comes Genius. to parenthood, the moment it comes to parenthood, there is an emotional value we attach and then we can, we are, we are special giving attention to that and yeah. it's a capital word, letter also. Yeah. And here you should understand, personal, the value is given to the parenthood. But in psychology, Western psychology, uh, parenthood is not given the true respect there, in behavioral aspect. Here, I is small, that means it is considered normal, but when it comes to parenthood, it is given special respect. But then uh, if you come at trinomial nomenclature, huh. then both are small, homo sapiens, sapiens, while this is parenthood for this subspecies. Correct. Correct. If we take Modern man, it is modern man, right? Ultra modern man. Up to this, it is modern man. Homo sapiens, Nindarthalensis, Homo sapiens, Heidelbergensis. Right? So these, these are modern man. 
and when sapiens was put when cranial capacity reached up to uh, what 50 50 to 1600 then they were considered as homo sapiens <coughs> sapiens ultra modern male because he was you can say uh, high tech people are using now mobile internet and all different types of tools different types of um, techniques so then due to increase in the cranial capacity uh, that's why so now it is a species and it is subspecies after that the, the relative importance is going down so you can you can uh, you can if, uh, make a flexible yeah, yeah. exception say, to that you can say, you can say no. so this is uh, the history of binomial nomenclature and uh, we will be surprised to know that Linnaeus was the was the father of taxonomy. Why taxonomy is in both parts for animals and for plants also. But he was father of taxonomy of plants and of animals also. Do you know the story about it? Hmm? How it happened? Generally, I don't know. Um, when we study zoology, we study only zoology. Yeah. When we study botany, we study, oh, we'll take a few minutes. 